आज रंगी सारी है गुलाबी बिकॉज ऑन दिस एपिसोड टूडे वी हैव कनिष्क से ज्वाइनिंग अस हेलो कनिष्क थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस टूडे एट मिड डे एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशंस ऑन दू लेटेस्ट सॉन्ग दैट केम आउट इन मार्च जहाँ पे दिल है थैंक यू सो मच माई फेवरेट चलस बॉक दैट सॉन्ग यू नो जहाँ पे दिल है विज एक्चुअली मेड इनिशियली फॉर अ फिल्म Okay. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that the intention wasn't to make it as an independent song, but then as you know, uh, for whatever reasons that didn't happen, I thought I have a good scratch track that I have which I can build on, and something that I was really enjoying was that the fact that I was doing slightly different from like my past releases. उससे पहले मैंने फ्यूजन म्यूजिक बहुत निकाला था लाइक लाइक एन एमेशन ऑफ इंडियन क्लासिकल विद इलेक्ट्रॉनिक म्यूजिक साचा साहेब रंगी सारी सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड दिस वॉज जस्ट लाइक यू नो कम्प्लीटली ऑफ द ट्रैक एंड लाइक अ पॉप सॉन्ग फॉर मी सो आई दिस थॉट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू परसू दिस फर्दर एंड आई कोलेबरेटेड विद फैंटास्टिक आर्टिस्ट सिंगर आरिफा Yeah. and uh, we did this and uh, i i was meeting these guys uh, folks from universal and they were also like really interested to release it so they have a sub label called viral so they were like yeah let's do this let's like you know you're a, this is an like a really cool song and we should make a video and stuff like yeah let's do it so the video how it goes it, it talks about it, the story in, uh, entails to a road trip like a yeah, friends yeah main jab bhi ye gana sunta tha i always used to imagine a bunch of friends just going somewhere and it is like what you do during that trip, uh, trip like basically like reaching that destination mm-hmm. that's always wo hamesha mere dimag mein tha and that's also like for all my other songs also like whenever i'm composing or producing there's always a visual hmm. there's either a story there's either a color palette something on my mind which takes me forward because i really believe in music videos so this was also like one of those things where i was like you know i want to make like a nice music video so i yeah i thought like let's you know let's do this in a very good manner and in like in a better budget so we shot like a nice music video in munnar with like mm-hmm. four good actors and having fun in the car and everything so that's what i thought and that's what's there in the music video also but when we think of the movie the song written in a way that would be a road trip and this sort of a story in terms of the what video. okay i'll give you a guess <laughs> which film do you think this song Might have gone. Leave the road trip bit. Just if you've heard the song and the vibe, what do you think? Like, which, has this movie already been out or not? Yeah, it, it released. I'll give you. It was released on an OTT platform, which was known for its songs. And last year in January, no, it was a <laughs> road. I mean, it's a series anyway. No, it's it's a it's a movie. Road trip movie. It's a dharma film. I had met Shakun Batra uh, last last year. And Gehraya. yes oh god <laughs> he had asked me to make something hmm. and uh, i was like sure let me try something because uh, i mean i'd met him long back when i was participating for a film festival <laughs> because i also like making like short films and music videos so i participated in mumbai film festival and he was the judge <laughs> over there and he really liked the music that i gave for that short film so he had called me and we discussed and i think we kind of stayed in touch on and off and he just like one day just called me he was like i'm sure what are you up to i was like nothing much <laughs> so i just took it up as a challenge and then many koi bhi gaane nahi sune the and they had just given me like a reference that this was the space that i was looking for but for whatever reasons that couldn't yeah. materialize but the song stayed with me and when it got re- like when it was almost there i had sent it to shakur and he also really liked it so i was like yeah it's fine before you told it's a dharma movie or anything i was like that's why i asked if it's a release movie or anything yeah, yeah, yeah. cuz i was thinking of an upcoming movie of alia the pranka and katrina no no jeele is a so yeah i know i know i know, I, know. Movie. i think that is 
या बाय एक्सेल आई गेस या इट्स एक्सेलेंट टीम या या सो जिंदगी ना मिलेगी दोबारा क्लाइन पे दे वर मेकिंग फॉर फीमेल सो या आई मीन टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट दैट सॉन्ग्स लिरिक्स वो आप उसको अलग कॉन्टेक्स्ट में भी डाल सकते हो लाइक इट इट कैन आल्सो बी लाइक अ नाइस यू नो हाउ वुड आई से जस्ट अ सॉन्ग बिटवीन टू पीपल हु आर इन लव when i was developing the song then i was kind of imagining you know ki ha this can also be a good road trip song and mm-hmm. all of us really jammed on the idea ki kaisa music video hona chahiye so this cool. like it's a very happy and jolly music video yeah it's a, it's a very yeah. like sit back chill relax groovy track yeah. i'm i'm really happy that uh, i'm exploring other spaces independently So yeah, let's see what's there. Given the fact that your you are your mother's son, you have created your own name with the songs that you've come up with in the few in the past. Yeah. And but do you feel that there's a responsibility you have given you come from a family of musicians? So mm-hmm. like you are on on those lines. I think हमारी परवरिश ऐसी हुई है. So like my brother is also a musician. Mm-hmm. He's a poet. He's an inventor. He's made his own instrument. and after completing his graduation from iit bombay he just thought like i would not do this i don't want to pursue anything in the engineering bit although he's like really intelligent and which has kind of you know all the knowledge that he's you know gained i mean he's invented a yeah i mean he's so invented an instrument point being uh i think uh like our mother has basically mm-hmm. given us you know enough freedom and to dis- to make our own decisions so she has never forced us to do music on the first place i remember when i was a kid my father encouraged a lot to do different things he when i was in the 7th grade i was learning sound engineering when usually people do it after post grad so okay. and i was doing learning film making photography i was also doing theater there was a time where i was very serious about acting also <laughs> <laughs> then i i lost my father and i don't know there was a period where there was this vacuum where you know i had all these things where i'd learned you know and ye sab tha talent but i had to hone a particular skill and i knew that i was kind of good in music so i just gave it a shot i thought why not pursue this but let me do it by my own style and time i do not want to be bound by a particular time and do it let me see how this flows so i started composing i started producing everything happened very naturally i was working on an album when i like i had started when i was 14 okay i released my first album when i was 18 and then after that i was like mujhe nahi karna i i want to enjoy my college life and uh, took some really conscious decisions you know like kyunki aap jab ek particular environment mein pale bade hote ho musical environment mein especially kyunki aapki par matlab jaisi jaisa environment aap dekhte ho discipline jaisa diya hota hai you jaane anjaane aap khud bhi wo choices apne liye lete ho ki aapko music hi karna hai ya yahi karna hai mere mom ne ye kiya hai to mujhe bhi ye karna hai both of us did it because we really enjoyed it. and like we really enjoy making music and when we don't enjoy music make music we just don't do it we just play games <laughs> at home and we just chill watch a movie or whatever but we come back to music because that's something that you know attracts us and connects us yeah that's something that is like i would say like ingrained probably in our blood or whatever organ you know we breathe music honestly this was I had recently gone for my honeymoon and it was so difficult for me to like you know detach from music and the idea ki mujhe bas music karna hai yeah. that was also something that I learned but like coming to the main main bit uh, there was no responsibility as such where you know ki I have to live up to my mother's name obviously th- there is something that you know people do talk about it but all three of us have taken our own routes we like to collaborate but we've also kind of decided that we want to make our own marks and whatever we do we really want to do it well this is something that we really believe in because 
आप करने के लिए तो बहुत चीजें कर सकते हो यू कैन रिलीज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लॉट ऑफ कॉम्पोजिशन अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव सो मेनी थिंग्स बट यू हैव टू नेल इट यू रियली हैव टू यू नो मेक something which is so refreshing which is so new and which is like you know makes sets you apart from everybody else so that's what all of us are trying to do okay i, I mean i can say they listening to that keeping her uh, your mother aside even you when it, when it comes to your music and the kind of songs you bought for what to the people it is refreshing be it the video or the uh, you know the song itself when we watch the video of the song rangi sari from yeah. jug jug ji it just is a play of colors yeah. and the beats work out properly with the video yeah so i think uh, kudos to you on that thank you uh, but you know uh, you even covered my cell next question that <laughs> sure. you know your journey about music I'm sorry <laughs> no it's okay it's actually good so also if you could tell us you know now that you mentioned that you know you were very young when you started learning sound engineering you know, so when it comes to that you always knew you wanted to get into music in a way so sort of you like, always had that feeling but the realization of it did not come to that yes see uh, as in i was doing music when i was 5 like mm-hmm. i started when we were in delhi i started learning music and i started with violin i was learning hindustani classical violin yeah and i was also practicing uh, singing and phir jab hum delhi se mumbai aaye mumbai aane par dad was like abhi tum western classical seekho <laughs> like acha theek hai western classical seekh lete hain then it came to a point where uh, i was like uh, okay abhi piano seekho so i was learning western classical then jazz and then side by side you know okay you're doing this but okay my dad was very passionate about all our careers and uh, people who knew him especially in the music industry they still like remember him very fondly as someone who stood by my mother at, when she was starting her career so he was he had his job you know he, he had a government job but he was so so passionate towards my mother's career he used to like go with her to all these different places it was it was so inspirational and he was humko bhi push karte the kafi you know like seekho music ye karo wo karo produce karo ye karo but to be very honest it was all coming from his you know passion, passion. his he wanted us to you know kind of do make us do things we were also liking it because we used to like see people's reaction and they were like wow this kid is great he is acha kar raha hai but there is this inner calling you know which is very important for anybody mm, that. and i think that also comes with time aapka jo kehte na ek jo true passion hota hai wo aapko khud hi lana padta hai koi aapko bata nahi sakta ki aap iske liye bane ho koi aapko bata raha hai to wo probably us zarur unhone kuch dekha hai aap mein par wo unka nazariya hai aapko apna nazariya khud banana hai because you you must know through your experiences what you like and what you want to how do you want to steer the vehicle so it took me time but there was that moment for me i remember like right after my dad's death uh i composed my first song so that when you compose a song that it gives you like a lot of power ki you know i i can make something which can kind of influence you know yeah. emotions can you know touch people so that was something that happened and around that time i was also working usse 2 saal pehle hi maine apni album pe kaam karna shuru kar diya tha uh, which was the first sufi electronic album in the world so that was released through sony music then phir i did a crowd funding campaign apne khud video ke liye i was like okay. i was like tu paise mujhse le le aise hi kar raha hai <laughs> like nahi mujhe khud try karna hai i want yeah. to do i want to see how this works out so i had raised around like i was a kid i was like oh please please fund for my video i raised like some 5.5 lakhs for it with just like my like whatever admirers of my music wow. and fans and like friends and family jo bhi the they like put in money so it was it was great raising so much <laughs> amount and i made like an animated video uh and then 
वो कीड़ा था कि भाई अब जो भी गाना रिलीज करना है वो वीडियो के साथ करना है सो आफ्टर माई कॉलेज बिकॉज आई हैड मेट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल फ्राम द विजुअल बैकग्राउंड एंड आई माई अंडर ग्रैड वॉज इन बी एम एम मास मीडिया सो आई थॉट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक मोर फिल्म मोर शॉर्ट फिल्म एंड सो आई कोलेबरेटेड पीपल फ्राम माई कॉलेज लाइक वन ऑफ माई क्लोजेस्ट फ्रेंड इज अ राइटर डिरेक्टर मेड माई फर्स्ट म्यूजिक वीडियो दैन वो सिलसिला शुरू होता गया हर कुछ महीने एक नए कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ वीडियो आ रहा है कभी एक नॉर्मल कैमरा से जो आप शूट करते हो लाइव एक्शन वीडियो है कोई स्टॉप मोशन है एनिमेटेड है हैंड पेंटेड विजुअल्स हैं यू नो मोशन पोस्टर्स हैं जैसे भी हैं सो आई हैव बीन एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ म्यूजिक वीडियोस बिकॉज आई डू सी अ लॉट ऑफ स्कोप इन द इंडिपेंडेंट म्यूजिक आई फील लाइक अब हम ऐसे वक्त पर आ गए बच इज सो एक्साइटिंग फॉर एवरीबडी बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज सो डिजिटल इट इज सो ये म्यूजिक की पावर किसी एक बड़े पैसे वाले के पास नहीं है आई वुड स्टिल से फिल्म म्यूजिक इज वेरी पावरफुल यू नो बिकॉज फिल्म एज अ मीडियम इज वेरी इन्फ्लुएंशियल एंड वी स्टिल होल्ड फिल्म म्यूजिक वेरी डियरली टू आर सेल्स एंड बिकॉज टू अ सर्टन एक्सटेंट इंडिपेंडेंट म्यूजिक इज ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस्ड फ्रॉम यू नो फिल्म म्यूजिक जितने भी सिंगर सॉन्ग राइटर्स हैं जो उनकी लिखाई है जो उनकी कॉम्पोजिशन है ये सब हमने बचपन से जिन आर्टिस्ट को सुना है वही तो है नथिंग इज ओरिजिनल आफ्टर ऑल यू नो यू गेट इंस्पायर्ड फ्रॉम पीपल बट एट द सेम टाइम यू आर नॉट वेरी रिलायबल टू यू नो फिल्म यू कैन जस्ट इफ यू हैव अ ग्रेट सॉन्ग यू कैन जस्ट रिलीज इट इंडिपेंडेंटली on like you know different platforms yeah, different and people come out with on youtube as the you know using yeah, their songs i mean look at also. look at so many people yeah. i mean if you just look at even rangi sari hmm. we had released in 2020 20 yeah and we had no expectations at all we were just like humne ek bahut pyara video bana diya hai we want to put it out and it was like a hand painted uh, animated video that we came out with and people like spoke about that also he it became the song of the year in a way with everybody and every celebration that yeah, song was there but you know that happened much later so we released in 2020 yeah. the song grew organically like yeah. we didn't put in one paisa also yeah. in promotion yeah. being very honest we just put in money to make the video and to like obviously gaane ke jo bhi kharche hue the song mein that's it and we just put it out there and इट बूम्ड लाइक एनी थिंग धीरे धीरे पहले साल में बड़ा आई डोट नो वॉट हैपन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड इट इज ब्लू ऑल ओवर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम लाइक आई कुड जस्ट सी लाइक पीपल आर मेकिंग सेम टाइम वी वर इन टॉक्स विद धर्मा फॉर दिस सॉन्ग बट लाइक अ स्लाइटली मॉडिफाइड वर्जन for a film it was supposed to go in some other film then on another film and then it finally happened like in juk 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 then yeah it was great working with you know the team uh, azim and varun they were very kind people so that happened you know so we I, i think the power of uh, independent music is so strong now okay. and now is you know i don't think so artists are afraid of you know just putting out music you're not really dependent on anybody like it is great to work with everybody to work with labels to work with film productions because you know these are different platforms where artists get opportunities to showcase their work in different you know exchange yeah. of you know probably like exposure or money or whatever you know whatever suits the artists well but i don't think so you know you can not release music in like sure. independently i think it's a very strong medium ab ab jo bhi artists jo bhi major labels pe hain jo release kar rahe hain wo sab independently hi aaye hain actually yeah and i you i uh, you went to viewed anov he's he's still releasing independently yeah, i guess he started with just an instagram or youtube live yeah. or just putting it out there and yeah. with the first look song. at king i mean yeah he was a participant at mtv hustle he released a song independently and look at him he's yeah is abhi kitne mahino se uska gana you know 
टॉप चार्ट्स पे कोलैबोरेट विद निक जोनस लाइक यू नो दैट्स दैट दैट इज इफ एग्जैक्टली अभी बस यही है दिस इज द गोल्डन रूल नाउ एज ऑफ नाउ आई डोंट नो वेयर टेक्नोलॉजी वुड लीड अस एंड व्हाट थिंग्स वुड बी लेटर बट इफ योर सॉन्ग इज ग्रेट यू नो एंड दैट्स ऑल दैट मैटर्स आई मीन इट्स द वर्ल्ड सीम्स लाइक अ स्पेस व्हिच इज एन ओपन फील्ड एंड पीपल हैव नो बाउंड्रीज or restrictions when it comes to coming out with their creativity absolutely absolutely aapke paas agar acha gaana hai zaruri nahi aapko mumbai rehna ho kitne sare artists chote shehron se bana rahe hain delhi se bana rahe hain kahin se bhi bana rahe hain i mean i know i someone i work with often like she lives in jaipur hmm. uh, or so, probably somewhere closer to jaipur and like she comes to mumbai to do like her work but she also goes there and like releases stuff yeah. i'm like I know what the fuck that exactly only if you're pursuing your career in independent music otherwise i'm I, i'm not too sure about film because i think the majority of the industry is here but uh, i can only speak for independent music as of well. now yeah and you know uh, even when we listen to rangi sari or any other song your other songs like rajasthan calling yeah so when it comes to all of these they always have a connect or uh, uh, to the roots of India or when you when mentioned that you know you learn different instrument you've been learning using from such a long time yeah. even when it comes to sound engineering everything you have such a clear idea you uh, kind of blend into almost different uh, all levels so uh, so tell us more about that how do you balance you know because uh, you talk about fusion also yeah so with that so i think i would say that it's it all started with my first album yeah. dance with khusro yeah I remember I was fourteen, fifteen. I guess I was just I was just making beats, mm-hmm. and uh, and my mother just came to me. She was like, "Kya bana raha hai? Suna kuch." I'm like, "Haan, suno." Ah, my voice was chota sa. Haan, suno, mummy. So I made kuch suna. She was like, "Acha hai. I made kuch record karti hu uske." So I made a 10 minute ka loop kheech diya, and she was singing on top of it. And the first song that we recorded was "Aaj Rang Hai." which is a famous you know i would say a kawali yeah jo dargahon pe gayi jati hai and aksar bahut sare sufi singers kawal log ye gana gaate hain and then we just came up with an idea I was like to electronic music bana raha hai main ameer khusro ki poetry gaati hu us par and we we'll make a sufi electronic album and then we just it not took, everybody can think in that way <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then we were like ha ah. she's like dance with khusro kaisa na hoga like badhiya <laughs> chalo we just thought of like you you think of like all branding stuff also and everything but it took us time it took us time to make because i was still learning yeah i was still learning i'm still learning i would say but i was a novice mujhe kuch bhi nahi pata tha i was still discovering my sound and it took me good four years we made it released it फिर वहाँ से उस एक्सपीरियंस से मुझे काफ़ी कुछ पता लगा कि ये साउंड बहुत यूनिक है एंड क्योंकि मैं बहुत सारे आर्टिस्ट को सुनता भी था उस वक्त पे सो दैट म्यूजिक स्टेड विद मी ये फ्यूजन म्यूजिक जो है आई यूज टू लिसन टू अ लॉट ऑफ कर्श कले एंड मिडिबल पंडित्स करुणेश ये सारे जो लाउंज म्यूजिक था एंड ऑल्सो लाइक एशियन अंडरग्राउंड म्यूजिक मुझे बहुत अपील कर रहा था लाइक like, ये बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग स्पेस है जिसको लोग बैक इन द डे कर रहे थे yeah. पर बीच में फिजल आउट हो गया था बट दैट इट स्टेड विद मी ऑल्सो आई वाज लिसनिंग टू लॉर्ड वर्ल्ड म्यूजिक इन जनरल सो आई जस्ट थॉट कि बहुत अच्छा स्पेस है एंड एट द सेम टाइम व्हेन यू आर लिविंग विद अ पर्सन लाइक कविता सेठ <laughs> who is a sufi singer a ghazal singer also doing film music film music but only doing selected poetry yeah. i was in an environment where my mother was singing a very selective poetry singing sufi music we are getting to know what sufism is being in an environment where you know we are getting to know about different poets उनकी लाइफ कैसी रही है वैसा एक्सपोजर रहा है तो अभी तक जितने भी गाने मैंने खुद रिलीज करे हैं आई वुड से जैसा भी उनका म्यूजिक रहा हो यू नो फ्यूजन है उसका कोर मेरे हिसाब से इट्स वेरी सोलफुल 
बहुत सोलफुल म्यूजिक मुझे लगता है मैं कोशिश करता हूँ बनाने के लिए चाहे वो फ्यूजन हो चाहे वो एक नॉर्मल जैसा पॉप गाना भी हो जो भी है मुझे ऐसा लगता है मैं कहीं ना कहीं बहुत नेचुरली वो चीज़ आ जाती है क्योंकि मुझे ऐसा लगता है वो हमने उस इन्वायरमेंट में हम रहे हैं ये एक तरीके से हमारे आई वुड से हमारे खुद के संस्कार या आदर्श ऐसे बन गए हैं इन सम वेज सो वो कॉम्पोजिशन और राइटिंग में काफ़ी रिफ्लेक्ट होता है एंड मैं फॉर आई मीन टिल जितना भी मेरा भी करियर है छोटा सा मैंने अक्सर या तो पोइट्स को गाया है जो बहुत पुराने हैं या तो आई वर्क विद यू नो पीपल हु आर लाइक रियली डियरस्ट टू मी एंड विद अ वेरी गुड थाट वेन इट केम टू म्यूजिक लाइक प्रोड्यूसिंग म्यूजिक I was very certain ki I really want to include Indian elements yeah. with electronic music. I thought this is something really cool that has to be put out. I know a lot of people have been doing it, but it has to be done tastefully. Tastefully in a way where it still gives you more of the Indian feel. Yeah, uh, like as in the problem where you know I kind of realized what people were doing. जब आप एक genre बना देते हो आप बस म्यूजिक उस जॉनर के हिसाब से बनाते हो अगर आपको कोई वो जॉनर इंटैक्ट रखना है डू नॉट थिंक अबाउट वाइल यू मेकिंग इट जस्ट थिंक अबाउट द सॉन्ग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे एनी रीमेक्स एनी रेंडिशन और एनी सॉन्ग इट्स अ सॉन्ग इट शुड टच यू इट शुड मेक यू फील समथिंग दैट्स ऑल दैट मैटर्स अब ऑब्वियसली आई वॉज लिसनिंग टू अ लॉट ऑफ म्यूजिक समथिंग दैट वॉज वेरी यू नो मेरे मन में ये था कि मुझे इसके बारे में बहुत केयरफुल रहना है बिच इज लाइक दिस वेरी केयरफुल बैलेंस बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड दिस पोइट्री ऑल्सो दैट यू नो आई एल बी सिंगिंग और माई मदर विल बी सिंगिंग आई हैव टू गिव इट इक्वल वेटेज ये नहीं कि एक वोकल चॉप चल रहा है बस uh, आगे के तीन चार मिनट तक और कुछ गाना नहीं है That's why Rangi Sari was that uh, you know was like that I would say the first song where it was she is also singing in her own style yeah. I'm kind of accommodating to her style rather than the singer is accommodating to the music ki aap char baar gaiye fir do baar ka music fir che baar aap gaiye I was like mom main banata hu aap apne style se ab apne style se gaao खुल जाओ लाइक यू नो जिस गो फॉर इट सो दैट वॉज हर स्टाइल एंड दैट्स हाउ वी इंटेंड टू डू इट फॉर फर्दर कोलेबोरेशन एंड वी हैव सम रियली ग्रेट सॉन्ग्स कमिंग अप ओके वेरी एक्साइटेड हाउ वुड यू टेल एस हाउ डिड यू बैलेंस यू नो एज अ म्यूजिशियन द एनी पर्सन कमिंग फ्रॉम अ क्रिएटिव फील इज आई मीन how did you balance that when you're out and you know there's always music in your head and you something or the other is always going on? How do you balance that? So, Ayushi, my wife, yeah, and I, we met in college. Okay. And but we started dating after college. So obviously she knew ki main kis profession mein hu, and she always respected that she adored it, and she's like my best critique, and she's very honest about it. Jabi bhi if I don't do something well on stage or like if I don't I miss yeah. out on something. like she's the f- like first person i personally go to and like she gives me like her honest feedback with a lot of like respect also it's not like ki aap muh phat aur kuch bhi bol do she has her own way and which is very respectful which is a very good feedback so wo hamesha raha hai ayushi ka in that way and uh, but i'm sure like dating is very different than uh, being married <laughs> uh, so um it's been wonderful to be very honest like as in we just got married it's been 3 months and uh, we still getting used to this house we've just shifted to and uh, we getting a hang of things i think waqt lagta hai har ek rishte ko bhi banne mein mm-hmm. aur uh, ye ek naya i would say it's it's very different uh from dating to being married for sure you have more responsibilities as an individual you're not really staying with your mother anymore 
as any other indian uh, kid would but uh, it's great just living with her and you know doing things together cooking together and we give each other matlab space with them i would say hum kafi kuch ek dusre ke bare mein samajh rahe hain khud ke bare mein bhi samajh rahe hain yeah uh, you know as in ki hamari jo aadate hain jinko hamare भाई बहनों ने या पेरेंट्स ने इतना नॉर्मलाइज करके रखा है कि किसी और के लिए वो कितना अलग रहता है एंड देन यू नो कि हाँ मैं काफ़ी सालों से ये हरकतें कर रहा हूँ विच आर विच मे बी कूल मे बी नॉट कूल और वट एवर यू जस्ट गेट टू नो सो मच अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड इवन अबाउट दी अदर पर्सन सो यू गिविंग ईच अदर टाइम एंड सब कुछ बहुत आराम से हम कर रहे हैं वी नॉट रशिंग इन टू दिस लाइक we give for like you know forever and like we have to you know give each other a lot of time a lot of love and care so yeah and that's that's about it i would say <laughs> okay well good luck to you on that as well thank you now coming to an end of this i would like you to tell me what do you think makes you a true indie artist indie artist yeah um because i'm not really um what makes me an indie artist I think the fact that I'm releasing music I have the power to release my own music and not being afraid to fit in somewhere uh fit in a box of genre I'm trying to do something which appeals me and I have faith like in my own music I remember before releasing Rangi Sari also I was like I was I knew it like this this word click I didn't know the magnitude I was like this would definitely click with people because I was performing that song even like in my live performances and there was this unique response to this song all the time mm-hmm. and I was like ye kya hai <laughs> I mean I know this song is fun mm-hmm. I really like it but what is this extra love that people are giving me so I had a hint and uh, people had also heard it jitne bhi meri choti audience thi ek khud ka bhi ek instinct tha ki ye gana hai kuch and i think the fact that i really want to make something uh refreshing all the time i think that's very important to be relevant also in the scene because mm-hmm. if you just keep making one thing or the other you just aapko log automatically ek box mein dal dete hain because people don't have time naturally and they just want to categorize you ki yes some music banata hai yes aur karta hai but i do want to make things refreshing challenge myself and just see where things take me well on that note tanish thank you for joining us today thank at you. midday but Likewise. before you leave you have to sing rangi sari first sure absolutely mm, rangi sari gulabi chunariya re रंगी सारी गुलाबी चुनरिया रे मोह मारे नजरिया सावरिया रे मोह मारे नजरिया सावरिया रे सब्सक्राइब टू मिड डे इंडिया Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.